Hello students. Now I am going to explain about Hall effect experiment. The main aim of the experiment is to determine Hall coefficient and to identify the type of the semiconductor whether it is P type or N type. To perform this experiment we need some of the apparatus, IC regulated power supply, digital gas meter, constant current power supply, electromagnets, Hall probe and here gas probe. Gas probe is connected to the gas meter and here Hall probe is connected to the constant current power supply. Here you can see blue one is connected to blue terminal very simple connection and the red one is connected to red yellow one is connected to yellow and uh, here by using these two patch cards we have to connect electromagnet from IC regulated power supply to electromagnet here like this once all connections completed switch on the power so before that so only switch on gas meter and insert gas probe exactly in the middle of the electromagnets and adjust the value make it zero adjustment this one is in kilo gas yeah once it is completed switch on the IC regulated power supply and by increasing the current in the electromagnets here the magnetic field will increase make it 1 kilo gas don't worry whether it is showing negative or positive this is approximately 1.0 means 1000 gas or 1 kilo gas after that remove the gas probe now insert hall probe in between the electromagnets now switch on the constant current power supply make it zero first here can see the reading now change the current value 0 0.5 check the hall voltage note down that hall voltage for every 0 0.5 milliamperes note down the reading 1 1.5 2 2.5 so take 5 readings 5 or 6 readings write all these readings in the tabular form once it is completed again make it zero in, and change the polarities to change the direction of the magnetic field again switch off the regulated power supply and change the polarities again switch on the same way take the readings current versus voltage 0 0.5 1 1.5 note down the hall voltage readings by changing current values here all voltage also will change note down all these values write all these values in the tabular form now I will show you
this is the tabular form for 0 0.5 1, 1.5 to 2.5 here you can see the values yeah so you can observe here we have taken the hall voltage values 4.5 9.1 after changing the direction of the magnetic field again we have to note down average of these two we have to write in this column once you get all these readings you have to draw the graph between current versus hall voltage this is the modal graph here current we have to take on y x-axis hall voltage on y-axis now I will show you the graph yeah this is the graph of hall voltage versus current current on x-axis hall voltage on y-axis this is the scale on x-axis we have to consider one unit is equal to 0.5 milliamperes on y-axis one unit is equal to 5 millivolts by keeping points in this graph after that connect we will get the strike line then after we can find out the slope slope of this line is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 take any two points so the difference should be 1 then it is easy for calculation so that's why I consider 2 and 1 so from there y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 here we have 8.7 is the slope now I will show you the calculation so here to calculate Hall coefficient we have to use Rh is equal to Vh into T by I into B so to calculate carrier coefficient also we have one for all one by e, e into charge of the electron into or suffix h see here vh by i is the slope that slope already we know 8.7 and here t thickness of the sample given that is 0 0.7 mm 0 0.7 into 10 to the power of minus 3 so here we have 6.09 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter cube per coulomb this is the Hall coefficient once Hall coefficient we got then we can calculate carrier concentration the number of charge carriers per unit volume for that here here the charge carriers are holes majority charge carriers carrier concentration can be calculated by using 1 by E into Rh 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 into Rh value 6.09 into 10 to the power of minus 2 by substituting all these values we are getting carrier concentration value 10 to 10.2 into 10 to the power of 19 here per meter cube per meter cube so once you get the value write in the result here we have the result Hall coefficient value carrier concentration and a given semiconductor sample is p type because here we are getting Hall voltage as values in positive if you are getting positive value that is p type if you are getting negative value that is n type here you can see if it is positive p type if it is negative n type i hope this video will help you in your practical examinations thank you